What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and you might notice I lost a lot of rating. Um, just a few days ago, I was ranked number one with like a 1940 rating, but then PewQ passed me, and I tried to jump over him, and it started an epic downfall. Uh, a downfall of like winning one, and then losing one or two, and then winning one, and losing one, two. When you're at the high rankings, like the losses uh, count much more than the wins. So before I knew it, I was actually at like 17, like 90 something. Uh, yeah, you probably already know my epic downfall if you follow uh, the Nerf Streams YouTube channel or follow me on Twitch because I was stri maybe I shouldn't have streamed my ranked match. I think that was why. Uh, but yeah, I've gotten some of the rating back, so I'm not so bad. I am. Uh, am I in the? I'm in the top 15 right now. Uh, so I actually did it. I actually lost so much right before the weekly winner, so I was unable to secure my 15th n number one weekly winner badge. Um, but with not getting a weekly winner this week, that means it's the first week since I became a moderator that people actually see my moderator badge in chat. Um, uh, the weekly winner badge like overrides the moderator badge; it like covers it. So this is the first time people see the moderator. And we're gonna do a ranked match. Slowly get back the rating and I'm playing late game growth which I think is a good fit for this meta it's pretty late game I have both kinds of Yarls I have quakes and oh the new idols I didn't check those out yet I'll buy them after this video um, this is a aggressive hand for late game growth I'll keep it I get rid of the early quake um, I'm tempted well Eva is very much a Eva is very much a uh, control deck player so probably keeping on to the quakes wouldn't really do a whole lot unless he was like structure energy or something so i think being aggressive might be the way to go uh we'll see um he's energy it looks like he's gonna have to spark unfortunately oh well one for one trade not too bad and now i'm going to hmm want to stay on curve I'll get rid of the great wolf knowing that I have uh, both kinds of Yarls in this deck I won't really be short on the relentless units also a fang bear but he might not be playing humans if I play the fang bear he goes to three and he's gonna play charge coil so maybe it, maybe it would have been wise to keep the quakes I don't know um, fertile soil I'm tempted to play the fertile soil right now uh you know, let's do it. Let's do it. Fangberry is probably just going to, uh... With the Fangberry, is probably just going to not play any humans. I kind of regret sacrificing two Quakes already. I have three Frost Scales in the deck, and one more Quake. Okay, he goes to four, and he's going to play Gravelock Guard. Um... I think I'll just uh, destroy the guard with a veteran. And he's going to do that. Now, do I have like a rally or a veteran? Do I dare sacrifice your scrolls hoping to draw something like that? Yeah, sure, why not? Quake. Well, I'll hold, I'll hold on to that. I'll just play the Great Wolf. Um, and we'll see. If he plays a bunch of stuff, I'll just Quake. Um, don't like that I already have both God Hands in my hand. Alright, well, he did that, so do I Quake? Hmm. Not sure. I want to get a better quake off. Let's uh, sacrifice a god hand for scrolls. Nagana, should I play it? Yeah, let's play the Nagana. What I'm trying to do is just not give him. I just don't want to give him anything to burn. I really should go to more resources. I, like, I'm trying to top deck like another Great Wolf, so I need to get to that Yarl. 
Okay, there's an Ecomaton. And he's gonna hit that. I'm gonna be able to kill the Ecomaton. So that's good. And there, there's a Brother the Wolf. That's a good draw for me. I will get rid of the Totem. Actually, I'll get rid of the Quake here. I think I will be ahead. And I'll play the Brother of the Wolf. So next turn, probably Kinfolk Yarl is going to come down. Now he can burn something. Yep, he's going to burn. And the Charge Coil is going to ping. He's going to go to... F he's going to play another Charge Coil. And I just sacrificed the Quake. Why, did I, why would I sacrifice the Quake against a possible Structure Energy deck? I don't know what I'm doing. Um, well, he only has one scroll in hand. Let's... Uh, I'm tempted to play a Rat King. Now let's play the Yarl. We shall play the Yarl. Okay, and a God Hand next turn could be good. We'll see. Okay, he has a burn. And another charge coil. And a potion of resistance. Erg. You know, I think I'm going to play double racking here. I'm just going to hope he doesn't have like a sudden eruption power trip going on. Yeah, let's do it. I will deal damage here, though. Okay, now how do I place my units so I stay out of the big thunder surges? Oh, I didn't do that too well. Okay, well, that's not a... Uh, it's not so bad. Okay, so next turn, God Hand, and let's hope he doesn't have a sudden eruption. No sudden eruption. No, actually, no power trip sudden eruption. So a single sudden eruption one, it wouldn't actually do too much to me. Okay, good. He's gonna. No, it doesn't even have a thunder charge probably. And there's a machine. Ooh, that that hurts. And I'm just gonna God Hand still. Get rid of the Jarl. Unfortunately, I'll have to sacrifice him. And here's the God Hand. So, three, three, five. Three, 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 and just deal three damage to the middle idol. Not a super effective god hand. Like a rally would have done almost the same. Really needed that Jarl to survive. That was a good machine champ for him. He's still going to need a sudden eruption to get rid of some of these rats okay now let's see uh, what the charge coil hits hits unfortunately something ooh rallying I think I'm going to fertile soil fertile soil you but also rally, because I want to get rid of the forge. And I deal some extra damage with the Great Wolf before he dies, because he's obviously going to die very soon. So yeah, this is control structure-ish energy against uh, late game growth that sacrifice its quakes, and it's pretty close. Um, we're both getting up to pretty high resources here. And there's a burn, and what's the coil again? It's going to hit that, unfortunately. I will go ahead and sacrifice the frost scale here. Um, I think I'm gonna go for the kinfolk veteran and the brother of the wolf. Have to watch out for like a solemn giant thing he has going on. 
next turn. Uh, all right, there's a power trip. And I didn't want to play the Rat King if I don't see a God Hand like in my hand. Okay, and there's a State Machine. And I'd like to get another Fertile, so fertile Soil. That's what I'd like. I already had two. I only have one more left in the deck. There's a Grey Block Guard. And it hits that. Hmm. There's another Fertile Soil. Uh, why don't we play the Rat King? Or should I play the Rat King? Let's actually sacrifice the Brave for Scrolls. Uh, yeah, we'll play the Rat King. I mean, each of them is going to take one down to the state machine, but I guess that's all right. And then I'll fertile soil one. Get more stuff. And good. And I'd like to get my Urhalds now. Okay, he does have a sudden eruption here. It's that, so that's good for me. And now, what to do, what to do? Do I even dare touch this, I mean? I guess I should. Do I sacrifice your scroll, see if I draw a Yarl? Yeah, I just need one Yarl to have a nice play here. So let's get rid of the Frost scale. No Yarl, but I do the God Hand. Moshi or one forward, then I might consider God Handing. Uh, in the case of the God Hand, in the case of the God Hand, I think I do want to destroy the state machine so I guess I want to fill the board that's where I got him next turn all right we're gonna kill the state machine we'll let him keep his nog nest around and I'll go with I mean I'm gonna get my nog nest down and I'll play Brother of the Wolf. I mean, next turn I probably won't God Hand. This coming turn I'm probably going to Rally. Unless I see a God Hand win. I probably should have set up for a God Hand win. Probably just going to Rally next turn to get those Nognes to count down. We'll see. I do like my position. It's very hard to keep up with the late game growth. Eventually, I think he would have an advantage, but in the mid game right here, he's going to have lots of trouble. Okay. And now, ooh, there's a Jarl. I could God Hand right here. God Hand with a Brave. Or do I rally? I think I'm supposed to rally. Rally. Rally with what? Rally and. Let's get rid of the mangy wolf. Double Yarl. Well. So that's going to attack there. Well, I guess I'll do it like this. Problem is, those Nognes are right next to each other. They can't really do much. Yeah, I can't place the... Alright, whatever. I'll just rally like this then. I have to wait for those to spawn to spawn the wolf. Alright, so that goes down. 
and then I'll go like this. And then how do I get it? stay out of a thunder surge thing? Oh crap. Alright. That's a big thunder surge. <laughs> yeah, it is a big thunder surge. At least the Nogs will survive a thunder surge though. Next turn, God Hand. Next turn, God Hand with two Ragged Wolves. And hopefully I can win. Let's see if he has a uh, sudden eruption this turn or a. Okay, he's probably going to sudden eruption because he sacrificed that. In which case, I still might just god hand with a couple ragged wolves. Potion, oh, potion resistance. That is bad. Okay, come on, hit the nog. That doesn't. All right. Um. Hmm. So, god hand won't win here. I could Yarl with a couple of Ragged Wolves, it's probably going to be the play. Yarl with a couple of Ragged Wolves, I'll get rid of the other Yarl, but he's probably going to, I want to keep both Yarls though. Nah, but I got to keep the Rally. Actually, no I don't. Okay, so, Ragged Wolf. Ragged Wolf. Jarl or Hald. Okay. You know, let's line them up. Because I don't want to be sniped by a Solemn Giant. That is, I don't want my uh, Jarl to be sniped by a Solemn Giant. Okay. That Potion of Resistance was Potion of Resistance pretty good. I'm just not going to be able to do anything about that Thea until it, uh, until it goes down. Alright, he's going to probably have a Spark too. Oh. Oh boy. Well, he's running one of those decks, is he? Uh I can or I can Ancestral Totem Kinfolk Veteran to destroy that. Is that what I want to do? Yeah, I guess that doesn't seem too bad. I should really take that out right now. And, uh, deal some decent idle damage. Okay, and I have a God Hand or a Kinfolk Jarl for next turn. Get rid of the Ancestral Totem. And a State Machine. Okay, that still has Potion of Resistance. I won't be able to do anything with that. Another State Machine. Okay, so. We're not gonna, like, Rat King, that's for sure. Get rid of the Mangy Wolf. Uh, can't Ragged Wolf, it just dies. I guess I'll just play the Yarl this turn. I mean, it's still, it's in a nice health range. Not great, but it's okay. Uh, so... I'll make you stay down there if you want to kill something of mine. Well, I could actually just god- I could have god him to get rid of these. Maybe I should have done that. Nah, I want to get the Jarl out. Force him to deal with the Jarl. Okay. Not bad. And he has the Radles now at 4 health. And there goes the Potion Resistance on the Thea. So, I'm almost certainly going to God Hand if this Jarl survives uh, this turn on Eva's turn. Because I want him to get the Pillage effect off so he can start attacking every single turn. Which is really important. So I won't need any more rallies or stuff like that to kill him. Alright, the Ekamaton will get him ramp. And a charge coil. Okay. Uh, 
I'll get rid of the Terrian Brute, maybe. Frost Scale. Alright, I guess I'm just going to God Hand this turn so I can get you to attack every turn. Um, so I will... Oh, this actually works out kind of well. I can take out two Idol Cistern if I line up for a huge Thunder Surge. I don't think I want to do that though. I'll line up for a moderate Thunder Surge. And what's the difference of him moving down? Yeah, we'll just keep him up there. Okay, so that is an idle down, and hopefully he doesn't have something to get rid of the Arl. Thea gives him more energy. Both state machines are down now, so that's good. And the deck recycled, so I'm going to be able to get my Quakes back, my God Hands. Probably should play the God Hand before the deck cycle. Nice, the Arl survives. Let's see, no potion of resistance, please. Alright, looks like I'm gonna win this. Hmm, yep, looks like I will be able to do this. Let's get rid of the brave. Rally, is that going to be enough to win? Rally Great Wolf, that is enough. Okay. Can I do it in this idle? Yeah, let's do it in that idle. GGWP. So at times that felt like it was really close, but I think I built per hand most of the match because just against energy, just late game growth. I know they have sudden eruptions, I know they have thunder surges, but late game growth is just keep putting this on the board. God hand, fertile soil, and quake just make the deck. Really an old school deck late game growth, uh, kind of overshadowed by, the, by so much ag growth the past year. But it is good in this current meta with a lot of energy being played, a lot of control energy. Um, it does okay against Decay too. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and buy me some new stuff. It's really hard to keep up and stay above 300,000 gold with all these gold sinks coming out every week. Uh, idols, here. Deeran Ethereum. Ethereum, 14,000 gold. I guess I'll buy that, but I think I'm going to continue using the Pi Idols because the Pi Idols are more expensive and therefore more prestigious. Uh, so yeah, it did go up a bit of rating. Let's see where I'm at. Uh, where's Nerp? Oh wow, up to six now. So hopefully next time you see me, I'll be back at number one. And that'll be it for another video. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and make sure you leave a comment below with any feedback. You can ask me any questions. I read all the comments, and uh, I really like to hear from you guys. And also, you can click on any of the links below to other videos of mine. And I guess that's it. So keep on scrolling, scrollgers. I'll see you next time.